Edop Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be making an awesome lighted coffee table using hard fabric cardboard. I got these cardboards from Joanne Fabrics because I get a lot of fabrics from them and they always throw these cardboards away and theirs are so strong. They are corrugated and folded on the inside as well. The ones that are longer, I'm going to be cutting them to be of equal length to the shorter ones. I'll be using this wood at the bottom and then making a pattern with the cardboards at the top. I'll be holding down the cardboards to the wood with wood glue and a hot glue gun. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Now I thought this board was going to be okay for my design, but unfortunately it was small, so I got a larger board that I glued at the bottom. I later realized that the mirrors that I'll be using for this project are kind of large, so I had to open up the design again to make it wider. Now I'm going to be adding the remaining boards to complete the pattern. All I did was glue the boards to be at the same level where the other boards that are on the inside are. I took it out and then I spray painted the outer board silver. I'm gonna cover the middle part that's rough with foam boards. I'm also going to be gluing down the cutouts from the fabric cardboard to the wood. The mirrors are going to be on top of the outer boards, but I decided to just have these ones inside for extra support. Because this coffee table is really wide, I'm going to turn it to the back and add wheels to it.
Now this is not only going to be easy to move, but easy to carry as well. I'll be using this self-adhesive decorative mirror shapes on my design. And the link for this is going to be in the description box below. These are interesting shapes to work with, and you can place them however you like. And you know what? It almost looks like the designer Givenchy logo. I'll be using four of these mirrors at the top and I got them from Michael's Craft Store. I'll be making storage boxes for the inside with foam boards. I'll cover the front of these boxes with mirror reflective paper and the link for this paper is going to be in the description box below. To attach drawer pull to the front of the boxes, I'm going to be making holes first and then using diamond wrap as the drawer pull and holding it with zip ties. I did this for all four boxes and kept them aside. I covered the rough part in the middle with mirror mosaic tiles. I'll cover up the open spaces with canvas panels. I'm going to leave four of the size that I need together to make it easy for me to attach the mirror reflective paper and the crushed mirror glass on it without having to do it one by one. I'm going to let this dry for about six hours and after that, I'm going to separate them and attach them to my design. I 
I attached all of the pieces with wood glue and a hot glue gun. And then by the side here, it wasn't looking straight, so I used mirror mosaic tiles to make it look better. I repeated the same thing to cover up these two sides here. I'm gonna have light in the middle, so I got this from the Dollar Tree so that the light will shine through it. What I have in the middle is not permanent, so that the look can be changed from time to time. I added LED strips to the wood that's at the bottom and it's so beautiful, it looks like it's levitating in the air. And the lighting that's in the middle uses a remote. This is such a pretty, unique, modern styled coffee table. I'm gonna go back to Joanne Fabrics and show the lovely ladies that helped me out with these cardboards how the project turned out. The wheels on the table makes it easy to move it around. And I also love the way the LED lights gives the table an illusion like it's levitating in the air. This is such an awesome coffee table. I'm gonna give it out, but I'm gonna rock it for a while before I give it out. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed the way this turned out. Now don't forget to like this video and share with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. Now I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.